Hello everybody, I'm Andamore Central and welcome back to Aylesbury. Um, we've done quite a lot of videos um, from here. Um, in basics, I'm here for a fair bit. Um, the other offline commitments that I do, um, real life jobs and bits like that, um, have, have, made, have meant basically... Fair dues. Have meant that basically um, I'm going to be in Aylesbury for a bit. So I thought while I'm here, um, I'll try and sample a lot of the buses, a lot of the different routes, and obviously bring that to yourselves um, when I get a little bit of time off um, between jobs and bits like that. Um, and this is one such video. Um, there's a Reaver in Aylesbury um, have some interesting vehicles. Reaver in the Shires always seem to just get all sorts of random stuff. You'll have seen it in my Reading to Aylesbury video. Some of the stuff is better than other bits. Um, we had some really good motors out there, and we also had some. Um, very very tired motors um, and in this video we're going for something that's a little bit of an oddball a little bit unusual in the form of a reaver in the shires or a reaver in aylesbury certainly their only vdl sp200 commander um, that they've inherited and um, i'll tell you a little bit more about that when we see it um, because it'll give you a few clues as to where it's come from um, but we're going to go for a ride on that and um, we're going to see what it's like having a command around here and um, talk a little bit about the vehicle as it's been a while since i've been in a 3 commander and also go on something else that's got a bit of old first bus origin as well and um, that will interest quite a lot of you um, for our return trip so it's going to be one of these little nice short videos we've got a few um, exciting buses to hopefully go on a bit of rich history to discuss with them um, and hopefully they'll be quite good so i'm going to wander into the bus station now and i'll see you all when i get there and when our first bus of two arrives i'm getting the impression i'm getting the impression that it's a little bit of a red line takeover <laughs> on the stands outside today and um, again we're back in Aylesbury bus station the very very different and um, random Aylesbury bus station where you pass into walkways literally as your buses leave as well so it looks very very busy and um, there's definitely a lot of buses um, in so I don't know if something's happened or what have but we'll have a bit of a wander around see what's hiding because at this time oh, there's a 53 plate dart um, because at this time um, a lot of the buses that do school runs on a morning and an afternoon sometimes stable here some of them stay here throughout some of them and um, the drivers swap over from peak time runs where they've used the decker and they use a single and the decker goes back um, but as you can see there's definitely quite a lot of vehicles parked up here quite a lot of interesting ones as well and as we wander around um, the first route that we are getting um, to get the lovely video commander on is the one the only the regular at this point the 300 service that will hopefully take us to Princess Risborough And there we go, we're in the reflection of this lovely Transbus C300 that I have already been on. Um, I went in it off camera um, and it is a lovely motor. It might feature in a, in a compilation adventure at some point. But here is our bus, 3741 as it's now known. YJ57 is a GU with a Reva connecting a Staffordshire on the side. A little bit of a sign as to where it's come from um, with its regular role and shows with park and rides and similar work.
So as new buses and things come in, um, these commanders are becoming um, oddballs within the Ariba fleets. Um, in the Shires, um, Aylesbury, this is no exception. I believe this is the only commander they've got. Um, and the reason that um, the Midlands um, and Shropshire got rid of it, um, and Staffordshire and that basically even the Midlands got rid of it, was because again, it was their only one. Um, and even Midlands and dropping off the majority of their commanders either for scrap or ending up with Chase Rider um, as a result of sort of the sales. So they ended up with Chase Rider or Select Bus of a lot of the commanders for the Midlands. So this ended up being the last one. Um, and as a result, Aylesbury were short of buses, so this lovely motor um, has gone over to Aylesbury. It's a very similar case um, to what's in Yorkshire, where Arriva Yorkshire needed the odd extra bus. So they got um, one as a driver trainer, but um, one um, CXO 6 that's now 2578, and uh, still is 2578. They got that as a service vehicle at Belle Isle, and they came from Merseyside again. Merseyside, another area that is getting rid of these commanders at the moment, primarily due to fleet age. So they're now swapping some pulsars and things around with Merseyside, I'll be featuring that one back up in Yorkshire. Um, but the basics of it is, is these commanders are becoming rare and they are becoming oddball motors at depots such as this exact example. Um, it has to be one of the newer um, commanders I've been on, this is a 57 plate, um, I only ever tend to be on 57 plate pulsars, um, so this must have been one of the last commanders built. Um, so yeah, 57 plate commanders, pretty cool. that was YJ58 FFA you can see that in a previous video that one has Yorkshire relevance and so we'll talk about Yorkshire early so if that interests you do go and check out my Reading to Aylesbury video
thank you. So here we are in Princess Risborough, and that was our lovely VDL commander. So there we go, so that was good. Um, I got an alright photo of it um, with lovely sunlight. The only issue is, is there were some bollards slightly looking at the They got both of the MCV evolutions out on the 130 today. Again, they are on the to-do list. Um, when I get round to actually going for a trip on them or not, it's another question. Um, I don't quite know when that's going to happen. Um, but yeah, um, all was well. Um, love, love, love all to that commander. Really, really nice um, vehicle. I think it, this video is going to be titled Oddball Busters Around Aylesbury. Um, as it's certainly an oddball being the only one of the fleet um, of like a commander. Um, they do have a, a few VDLs. There were a few Pulsars, 57 plates, so that was probably the thinking behind sending that here um, was that it would fit in with the YJ57 Pulsars. To be fair, it is a YJ57 um, Commander, so pretty much the only difference is very much the bodywork. Um, you take the bodywork away and they're virtually, that's virtually the same as the Pulsars that are running around. So yeah, um, pretty cool. Um, nice modern one as well um, and it performed very very nicely, a little bit sluggish um, on startup but quite a few commanders are like that anyway. But apart from that it was very very nice um, and once it got up to speed it was very good as well. So I'm just walking down to Princess Risborough station and um, that was a Sitaro. Um, I'm just walking down to the station. I've got a fair bit of time to kill. Um, so I'm not walking at particularly quick pace. Um, and when we get into Princess Risborough Station, um, our next bus will hopefully be arriving in about 10 or 15 minutes after us. And it will leave at about 5 past 2. So here we are at Princess Risborough Station, not to catch a train, but to catch a very exciting rail replacement bus. And there it goes, KP51WAO, so that will be our ride back over to Aylesbury. It is a warm day, so that's probably why the cooling fan's going off, um, as well as previously seen it this week, it wasn't. Um, it's cool if I'm not going off, so presumably it is the warm weather as it is a warm day today. But yeah, anyway, that should be coming around very shortly to take us over to Aylesbury. Um, this one along with a few others 
transferred down to Cornwall that at the time were short of buses um, and operated on all of the Cornish services. I didn't realise, but it did it operated on all of the um, Cornwall by Colonel services. Um, there's loads of videos of it on them. Um, and then as soon as it was done with them, it got sold. I believe this one went via Ensign Bus um, to Excelibus or Exeibus um, down in Eastleigh near Southampton. They've operated this bus until very, very recently on rare replacement school contracts. I saw it when I was down there on the train. I was on the train and it passed over bridge. So it uh, was down there for quite a while until it has passed to this brand, this sort of newish um, local bus operator um, around the Chilterns. I believe they're called um, something Chilton. We'll have a look at the legals when we get off. Um, but it's passed to this operator who are now using it on this rare replacement. So yeah, it's pretty cool. So we'll see how it goes. It is on the stopper. Um, they're out of the low tree, so there is going to be a bit. It's going to be quite scenic. I'm going to have to crawl through. Um, but yeah, um, it should be quite cool. And I'll explain a little bit about the route that it's on later on. Definitely, I'm not complaining, um, but it's definitely not the healthiest of V7s I've been on. Although not the worst. There we go, so that was Monks Risborough, um, and now we'll go through the interesting bit um, with quite a few low hanging trees and bits like that. Um, double deckers can come down here, but it's one of these where you do have to be very, very dead slow, um, especially in something like this, because as you can hear, um, the branches have to sort of clunk over the bus. So if you go a little bit too quick, um, you'll end up um, wiping out a window or a pillar if you're not careful. So in other news, I found the USBs um, fitted by first when these were on the Unibus services. So they got the um, retrim seats and then they refurbished them as well by adding these um, USB ports um, for use um, by uni students because obviously at Unibus um, students and what have tend to have phones, laptops, MacBooks, stuff like that, um, tablets. So this is absolutely ideal when they're going to uni they can charge up the phone. And now even what's, m what's more exciting, as you can see, this one's not on. However, if I turn to the back and have a look behind me, try and get the light working, this one does in fact work. Um, unfortunately, I've not brought my wire along to test it today. Um, I can test my me, test me ear earbuds actually um, and see if it does the job. But yeah, this one is actually working, so let's plug it in and we have a light so yeah um, these buses have this one still has its USBs from its west of England bath days working and if you don't believe me in just that one works if we also have a look over there that one works and looking down there that one works as well and I imagine that's replicated replicated down the vehicle so that's really, really cool. 
and the vehicle itself all right it just sounds a little bit um, a little bit worse for a little bit tired um, but I think a little bit of work by its new owners um, will bring it up to scratch one of the 57 plate pulsars I was on about so I believe they got at least two of them there and with them being 57 plate SP200s they work quite well um, with the commander Here we are, and that was KP fifty one WAO. So there we go. So that was KP fifty one WAO X first three to all seventy five that have certainly lived a very exciting life. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pass into the studio for a little bit of a sum up of what we've done in this video and any of the bits and bobs that I may have missed. So there we go, to conclude this video, a very nice and unique video commander, um, the only one of its type um, in the local area, alongside a very unique and again pretty much the only one of its batch, um, KP51 B7 TL ALX400, again the only one of its batch in the local Aylesbury um, and surrounding areas. Both rather unique vehicles, one of which you can get in regular service, 3 some 4 one is usually out um, almost daily um, with a reaver in Aylesbury um, as it is quite a reliable bus and as you could hear it, it did sound rather healthy. Meanwhile the Alex 400, a very very frequent um, recent acquisition by Harlequin Travel who um, sort of have a slightly different trading name um, but it is Harlequin, Harlequin Travel um, is the name of the operator who are based quite locally um, to Princess Risborough um, their vehicle will predominantly see school services and rail replacement only. They do have a few um, different double deckers they have an X um, Fair Saver and a Riva London um, ALX 400 54 plate and they also have an X Uno Scania Olympus so they do have a few different types of um, double deck um, vehicles on fleet but it seems that the KP51 example the quite recent acquisition XX Sabus um, and First Kerno, First West of England and First Leicester um, double decker seems to be um, their main pick on rail. 
For now though, I really hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have done, do be sure to click that like button so that more people can find it and enjoy like you have. And if you haven't already, do be sure to subscribe to the Ammo Century YouTube channel for more content like this from the real life bus and public transport industry from the UK and beyond. Once again though, I'd like to thank you all for watching. I really hope you've enjoyed this one and I will see you all in the next video, mate. Goodbye for now. Bye!